Welcome to my shop, Stranger Services, based in Bradford, West Yorkshire. I'm an independent Nissan engine specialist and I've been specialising in these vehicles day in, day out for over 10 years now. Now, I've just been doing uh, a Euro 5 engine on a 2010 Nissan Navara, which has done 73,000 miles and it's coming for major engine failure. Now, if you own a Nissan Navara and you're thinking or considering of having a two inch chip fitted T car or having it remapped, I strongly advise you don't because all you're going to do is cost yourself a lot more money in the future in repairs and trust me parts for the Navara are not cheap by, the, by a long shot. Right come and have a look at this. Number one Conrad see how damaged that is there uh, the bearings literally collapsed completely and have a look at this crankshaft we've been able to prise off the bearing and now that crankshaft is now scrap. So that's out of a 2010 engine. It's only covered 75,000 miles. Right, what I can prove to you is that that damage has not been caused by raw oil or run on the wrong oil. And the reason for that is the rest of the journals are fine. The rest of the bearings are fine. If you have a look at them mains bearings there, they're absolutely perfect. If you have a look at this bearing shell, this is the one that goes in the cap. And look at the one that goes in the conrod. Can you see, you see that? How unevenly worn it is, and it's eating down into the into the copper. Now I've been to my machinists, and our machinists are probably the best in the country. The members of the Federation of Engineering and Manufacture, and I've took them bearings down to him today, and he said, without a shadow of a doubt, Des, it's due due to overloading. So basically, the the it's, the piston is getting too much power for that for that type of bearing. What they really should have used is a thicker bearing, but at least you've got my message. Don't fit or remap your Nissan Navara or Pathfinder or else it'll cost you big money in the future. Thanks for coming.